I have this great idea, but I need your help to make it work. So please listen up. So this is what I do in my daily life. I travel the world, lecturing in leadership. I consult the major organization and what could leadership be in the future? How can we use leadership as a way of transforming our organization? So, so this is what I do in my daily life. And I would like to take you along and I would like to share with you my reflections. And hopefully, hopefully, what you will do is that you will leave some comments below in the comment section and talk about your reflections upon my reflections and what I'm thinking. And hopefully that can create a community that will help us change leadership in the future. Because I do believe that the way we've been talking about leadership for the last 150 years has failed. We've, there's a lot of things we've forgotten. We've been very focused on we want something out of people. We want them to do more. We want lean. We want more productivity. We want more money. We want, want, want. And on the other side, we have the employees who is influenced by the leadership who's saying, but then I want more money, then I want a lot of things as well. And suddenly it's kind of like, it's I want behavior. But what if we change it into something like, I want to serve, I want to give, I want to invest in other people, I want to invest in my employees, I want to invest in my manager, I want to I wanna do good. What if we change it? What will happen? Yeah, we probably know that already. We know the answers to these things already. But how can we just do it? Because we can just change the world. No, I don't think we can just change the world and change leadership. But we can at least do some thoughts, we can do some reflection, we can think a bit about it. So in the blog, I will take you along when I'm traveling around the world and when I'm doing presentations and when I'm doing what I'm doing. And hopefully you will comment below. So the vlog could be like this. Now it's Friday evening. I'm heading out to do a keynote presentation. I will bring you. It's a kind of a special keynote, not, not a special keynote presentation, it's kind of a strange day because I'm doing a keynote presentation a Friday evening it's at eight o'clock I do have to do my presentation and it's on the day where the Christmas brew is coming out so everybody's talking about we want to go drink the Christmas brew but they can't because they have to listen to me talking about the difficulty in cooperation I think I think this is gonna be a great evening I think it's gonna be difficult uh, keeping their attention. It's 400 people sitting there just waiting for me to shut up so they can have their Christmas beer. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. So please join me and let's see what kind of reflections comes out of it. That was the end of uh, the keynote presentation for tonight. Now I'm going back home. So this is the end of the keynote presentation and the end of this work week. And I'm back home, I'm relaxed and ready to actually hit the sack. But, but before doing that, I wanted to finish this vlog and finish this week. And uh, some of the key things I take away from this night's keynote presentation is that these guys have been together for the entire afternoon. They've had a few beers, they had some wine for the dinner and more beer were coming up when I was finished. But they were paying a lot of attention to what I was saying and they were these 400 people gathered around listening to the to the keynote presentation and I do think that the reason is that even though there was a great social event going on 
there was a shared passion, a passion about what they were working with. And all 400 people were very passionate about that. And, and actually they, they do good for the environment. They do good for the, for the world. So thumbs up for the, the effort they're doing every day and thumbs up for them being so passionate about it. And I think we should have much more passion into our everyday life. And, and even though that I was competing with the Christmas brew, I wasn't really competing because I was on their side working with passion and passion definitely beats Christmas brew even though even though I look forward to tasting my first Christmas brew this year. So that was it and see you very soon in the next vlog. If you enjoyed the vlog and you like the idea about creating a community where we can talk about leadership now and in the future, then please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and if you so desire, please share it. See you in the next movie.